most time we are very very comfortable with our life and we think less of what people are actually passing through in one of the worst situations we can ever imagine today the citrus family is taking the bull by the horn we are going through the water slump of Makoko just to see how we can be of help to empower the African youths. These are the youths that if not properly taken care of, they will begin to run out of the continent looking for greener pasture whereas they have just left the greatest of all greener pastures on earth, Africa, the motherland. We have decided to go through whatever it takes just to put smiles on the faces of all humans, supporting those that are industrious, that are willing to take the risk even on water to offer one of the best services needed. Our first point of call was to check on the youths that we that we've empowered during our first visit and as such I shook my head seeing where we have to pass through what we have to pass through to even reach this youth that we have paid to get them trained on this beautiful water slump. But the good thing is, seeing that these youths have really, really had a change in their life. We came across another set we met this lady called Ayo that is already with a baby at 21 and is already learning this trainer. This is joyful too. As part of our desire to put smiles in the life of fellow Africans, regardless of what they are passing through, regardless of their financial stand status, we decided to also pay the medical bill of these two pregnant women living on this water slum that has been exposed to malaria, fever and the likes of them. We are able to pay a total sum of 12,000 Naira just to offset their total medical bill. You can imagine what the relief that would mean to these people. While returning from the hospital trip on water, we ran into this beautiful woman who was so happy and asked us to take photographs of her and that prompted us to ask her what she's into and we decided to patronize her fish business only for us to discover that she has a little girl of about six years that has not been to school just because of finance and we offered to help so we're going to be paying at least for the one year tuition fee of this little girl. So glad we did. During this uh, second visit to Makoko, the water slum, we ran into this handsome, young, promising African boy whose parent dropped him with this carpenter with this master without paying a dime for his training and as such he has been working with him over 
one and a half years. The master has trained him in a whole lot on how he can single-handedly set up a two to three story building on top of the water. And this we found highly impressive and we decided to take it up from there. We actually paid for his training fees and asked the master to set him free within the next three months, which we are monitoring. After which we are going to do his freedom, buy his necessary equipment so that he can start a life of his own. And from there, help us in training three African youth for free, just the same way. We didn't ask for a dime from him before paying for his own freedom and buying him machines to use in setting himself up. This is what the world and the life that we live should make. It should be a smile, a cause of joy in people's home and not just a group of takers. While we were there, news got to us that a lady just put to bed some hours back, about 24 hours, and they needed us to assist in paying the medical or what we call the hospital bill. And we're so glad seeing the baby, beautiful baby, alive and the mother alive. We did this immediately. We did pay off the balance for the medical or delivery fees. And we are so glad about it. A new life has been added to this master place of a beautiful African slum. Okay, this is Mr. Toby Omobale, JJ. He's been the one helping us uh, to navigate this Makoko as a uh, area and he's been a wonderful person. So we just didn't need it to appreciate him in this video. He has yes. also been helping us to coordinate the Makoko you... youth that we are trying to assist in numerous crafts. Carpentry, fashion, different, different plumbing. Craft, plumbing and you have to tailor, fashion designing, hairdressing, barbing. And you won't believe one shocking thing. You know, we always advocate for joy. Do you know he just lost his wife not more than a month? And the wife left about four kids. So we want to see what we can do about the schooling of those children. So, so this is one of the his daughters. The wife just passed on. Not up to one month. What is your name? Alain Alain Docas. What's your name? Look up. Look up. Aide Docas. How are you? And this girl doesn't have a mother again. Do you know what it means? And he has three girls and one boy. Very small kids. So no matter how little we can assist, we will surely come over to assist him because he has been assisting us to assist other youth in Magoko environment. God bless you. I really, really appreciate your donation to the Makoko community. God bless you. And it was finally time for us to go back home. And today happened to be one of the most unforgettable days in our memory. And we believe our late daughter is smiling wherever she is, seeing us put the necessary smiles on the faces of the African youth that are still alive. <laughs>